And now it's time to spend four hours turning this thing back into the regular... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, John. I was about to say that. They changed it so much. I thought, to be fair, they I thought they changed it because I like how Sonic says that, but he looks directly at the place you're supposed to go. To be fair, I thought they only changed it so much also, because have, they. Does anyone where know the how these was. buttons work? They do nothing. They're how do you open these doors? No, I think you're not. supposed to jump into them. It. These doors are in. How do you open the doors then? How do the doors work? I believe the doors are linked to the mode that the egg carrier's in. No, because you can't even go in there unless it's in this mode. There's like a... I seem to remember it having something to do with it. What the hell? I told you. The buttons do it. Yeah, that's where Eggman sleeps. I don't even want to think about where that's been. I don't know Eggman doesn't hear. Apparently he needs some relaxing time. Alright, uh, I can go get I think I can get the other one, Sonic, but I'm not gonna try. <laughs> but we can all uh, agree the truly horrifying metal picture is Eggman. Of I love Street. Eggman's steampunk chair. We can all uh, agree the truly horrifying sight is Eggman in a swimsuit. And now I'm thinking of those Sonic shorts of Princess Sally got an email from Eggman and there's rave music playing while he's in a thong spinning around. <laughs> didn't it, in a, oh, once again, at the time of this recording, didn't Ryan use that as a transition? Yes. Wait, was that in the Mighty Number no. 9? Mighty Number no. 9 had a lot no of... No one saw that, right? <laughs> We're going to ignore that, right? You hit the loading zone, who cares? What loading zone? Hey, look, he wasn't standing here 10 seconds ago, and neither was that frog. Was the model just floated somewhere off screen? No. Probably. Not again. I feel like Boundary Break. Was boundary it. Break! It was probably inside the green thing. Boundary Break didn't show that off. How did Big get here? Yes, I know how he got here. Why is Big here? The, the best part about, since you need to play every character, if you've never played the game before when you're playing Sonic, it's just... Who like, is that? What the fuck are you doing here? What's the frog? How does he have six chaos in rules? It's just all this. And because Big was on the screen, we have Also, the whole chaos is missing tail thing is only explained in Big's story. I have no idea what it does. And because chaos only has it in this form. Um, it makes chaos, chaos zero in the final story does not have a tail. Mm -hmm. It makes that tail only exists for chaos six. It makes chaos arbitrarily. Chaos seven doesn't even have one. It makes uh, chaos arbitrarily more powerful, and also because big was on screen, we have. <sighs> Before you go on that tangent, because what? Big before you go on that tangent... Oh, dang it, it didn't do it. That's supposed to do double damage, but... Because Big was on screen... But he didn't do the attack as well. Yeah. Because we Big was on screen, we are obligated to mention Big's voice actor as John St. John. There it goes. Which is Duke Nukem. Oh, Big yeah, John St. John. Big the Cat is voiced by Duke Nukem. I Does it knuckles? That. Does it knuckles do double damage? The maximum heat knuckles attack does double damage. Oh, oh. yes, it's oh. the only reason to get it. Because it's fire based, I just made that connection. Except Sonic does double. Sonic does double. Light speed attack and the heat knuckles attack. Does. Maximum heat knuckles. But there is attack. no reason to do the maximum heat knuckles attack. Which might be important, man. Maximum heat knuckles attack is only a thing because a his gloves look funny in this game without being yellow, and b maximum heat knuckle attack is just fun to say. But really, I can't look at those white gloves anymore. What I was going to say, again, like where I was talking about, like the runaway guys. Yeah, I'm guessing. They did terrible on that boss. How did they do terrible? Did they not? They didn't remember how it went, so they were doing all kinds. Also, of also, why is why would Sonic think this is a good idea? I'm just gonna jump at him. <laughs> when we get to every knuckles, of if Shadow can survive a fall from space, don't don't. Sonic survives the fall from space. Don't, and, don't um, get me started. There are things you will get me started on. Um, Sonic survives the fall from oh. space and unleashed. Oh. <laughs> See? Don't get. He knew he's a cartoon. Uh, 
Like, like I said, don't get me started. There are some things you could get me started on. Good thing I'm a blue Everborn perfect hedgehog. And also, let's for the sake of the memes for the Knuckles playthrough, name every part Knuckles Adventure, whatever the part title is, and Knuckles. If it fits. Try to keep it short, man. I was gonna make a joke about talking about <laughs> Aquatonic fan art, and I can devolve into a whole range of. That's too easy. Let's just let's not. That one. All of the awkward porn topics. Let's just, let's... And also awkward porn. Like I said, let's not. Nah, that just that joke. It writes itself. It, there's low hanging fruit, and then there's the fruit that falls off the tree, rolls, um, rolls to your foot, and then magically starts floating into your hand. Or it then gets stuck. You say that, but at the same time- I forgot that Sonic doesn't actually go to call s time until this part of the game. My god, we're almost done with Sonic's story. I know, hopefully we have time. You can probably finish it. I don't like this level. I love this level. I flat out don't like this level. This is one of the few levels where the game being glitchy actually hurts it. I've never had any problems with glitches in this stage. And that's what they- don't bring it up now. There's a thing I want to bring up because I have no idea how he was able to do it. Me? No, not you. No. No, no. Carson's watched um, a lot of videos talking about these games and a lot of people now are more critical to glitches and problems. No, it- no, it's n it's a certain someone, and it wasn't even a video about the um, glitches, though, as I said. Let's see, I think I can do this. Though, as I said, was the game, to be fair, it is glitchy, but it's about as glitchy as any game from that era. Honestly, I think in some instances this game has aged a bit better than Mario 64. Only because Mario 64 now has a definitive version, whereas this game's definitive version is kind of up in the air and shaky. Mario, if we're gonna talk about Mario 64 for a minute, the original Mario 64, the worst problem was the camera. Fundamentally, the Mario 64 is glitchy, but most of the glitches you have to find. And while well, I consider the DS version the definitive, a lot of people hate the DS version of Mario 64. Just because they don't like the controls. And that's kind of a shame because. I love this music, by the way. Mm -hmm. This level does have good music, but. Right before you get to the one section was Mario 60. Before I feel not as bad as Sunshine, but also, similar. It has... I love this scenery. Okay, I can actually talk about it here. Yeah, actually, um, basically what it was is. In Ego Raptor's sequelitis video on A Link to the Past in Ocarina of Time, which is a bad video, but I'll save that for a Zelda a playthrough, he says if we've learned something from Sonic, turning a 2D game 3D is not easy, and he shows a clip of he somehow was able to, on that tunnel, get Sonic onto the wall and being pulled backwards. That is flat out not possible. The game clipped for him in that video outside that area and Sean just casually walked through it like nothing happened. He starts being pulled to the, the wall. The wall magnetates him and then he like glitches He's through He's standing it. on the wall and starts getting pulled backwards. That is flat out not possible. So. That's also, don't get too far ahead of this rock because it will eat you. Da 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 Don't sue me! <laughs> oh no, the copyright box are back. Don't get me started on Bruce YouTube Rats. copyright. Let's not. Let's not and say we didn't. Okay. <laughs> How about we don't say we didn't and say we didn't? Whatever. How about we don't and say we do? What? Oh, okay, I've made this confusing. Now my job is done. Ah, oh, look at all that skipping. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, look oh at all that God. death. Okay. Yeah, I figured if that skip one day, I was like, oh, if you just jump off that, you can just skip another section. 
Again, I... Because I will admit that this section isn't the best section. I'm not trying to shit on the runaway guys, but... Christ. Chugger found their failures and just... John's bullshit too funny and he never cut it out. Which ruins that LP in my opinion. I, I that's the reason I stopped I, watching like, it. I couldn't... I wouldn't even... Even with the YouTube speed up button, I couldn't finish it. Yes! I had no will to watch the later part because I knew it was just gonna be more yeah, of uh, John's just. This, cutting. like. W without sounding odd here, a Sonic Adventure LP, I feel needs to be more like how we're going to structure where there's not. And this isn't me, like, jerking off my own content. John. Took that old man statue that Shine dropped in the sewers, and he played around with it, and there were just parts of him playing around with that statue and glitching the game. Ah, at some point, the mural... Uh, mural? How the hell do you say that? Mural. Mural. That thing from Sonic 3, at some point, it was it taken down and replaced with one for this game. Oh, that's a valid statement. Was that Hidden Palace? What? Was that Hidden Palace? Uh... I just thought that Lost World it, could be Hidden Palace. It's, it's supposed to be a reference this to it. Like... really weird. Which, well, I don't really like fan, um, fan theories and stuff. An interesting theory I did see explained the reason Knuckles sided with Eggman in Sonic 3. Because of that in Hidden Palace, he thought Eggman was protecting the Master Emerald and not taking it. He, uh, there was a theory that Knuckles' ancestors interpreted that as someone protecting the Master Emerald for someone trying to steal it. It is that, just reversed. So, now we get to officially meet t -Call. She's been that, um, Navi Orb. And T-Call was literally voiced by one of the programmer's girlfriends. Because, like, someone made a joke, every voice actor back then was just the janitor. They literally didn't have an American actress or one of the programmers use his at-the-time girlfriend. And the, the best part, if you have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle added extra playable characters to the, um, two-player? T Call. What was that all about? That they and like the other characters, they're not new me. lines. T Call is just random quotes. So there's footage on the internet of T Call like saying, "I will protect you," and then it's hitting them with the um, his special moves. This time I'll get him good. Uh, I, I like how Eggman just like going to his base, like formulate Plan B. Which is actually Plan C, because we missed Plan B. And now this base is so, just over here. No, it's been here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, the door Ah, uh, Mecha Sonic. Ah, uh, Metal Sonic. Hyper Metal Sonic. Whoa Egg there, OVA! Eggman's plan. Step one, gather the Chaos Impulse. Step two, uh, step three, profit. One of my guys also got stuck here. But Everyone this gets is... stuck here. This is actually one of the few things people getting stuck on I will not fault them for. Final egg. This is... I also... I don't like Sonic's last two <laughs> stages be... Because with them being the last two, they're naturally harder, but I feel they're kind of harder because of a difficulty spike. But part of that is also because, as I said, I will admit the game does have a glitch, as I will not deny that it has a glitches, but this is one of the stages where the glitches... There are a couple of points in this stage that I'm just not sure what they were going for. Like, why they thought they could make it work in a 3D space, I'm just not sure. The, the reason, for the most part, the glitches don't really bother me, one, as I said, a bunch of Like this part. I don't understand why they thought this would work. And you can just fall through that, but... As I said, a bunch of games back then have kind of aged as bad as this game, despite what Ego Raptor and other people tell you, that it's just a thing games back then do. 
for the most part, it doesn't bother me because of the way you have to trigger the glitches, but this is the only stage I have consistently just clipped through. I don't know why. Really, that stage for me is Emerald Coast. I will never say this game is not full of glitches, but Ego Raptor and... While I'm, and while it's definitely not a glitch, the shadow of the rings is kind of just... The reason there. I'm going to keep harping on the Ego Raptor stuff, I feel he was intentionally trying... Oh, he clearly won. ...to get this game to glitch so he could laugh and get a bunch of mm. people to kind of point or think, maybe this game was a horrible mess this entire time. Because of him, people are now unironically saying this is worse than 06. You are saying 06 did this right. So I'm not even playing 06, I will at least say this is, you know, leads in like country miles. I'm telling you, man, 06 is just enjoyable to mess around with. I. Because I want. You have to kind of separate yourself from the state of mind yeah. that the. Um. Today, of taking it seriously. As! And take it less seriously than you would any other Sonic game. As I like Superman 64. As you can play, um, <laughs> I I will play that just to appease you. I I didn't say you have to. I've play never actually it. I've never played play the game. That was just multiplayer, but no, that was boring. I thought you did. Like no no no, but I will. I never said we, the we can just use the level select code. Uh, no, everyone's made a video um, on Superman 64 that's beating a dead horse. You, but we all know, like, but there's one. I don't really. Uh, I mean, I don't like that game, but I would not say I hate that game passionately. We all know there's only one game I hate passionately. Let's not name that and leave that a secret for the eventual a full LP of it. What? No, what? Yes, no, I, wait, what? Yes, I just took that joke from the best friends play. Wait, what? No, he was... What? He was referencing... No, something. wait, what? No. No, that's not me the thing. <laughs> I'm not doing that. He's talking about... No. What's you know what's going to happen with that? Okay, now I want to say something. For some reason, at some point, this game has some weird thing, and I can't run into the fans anymore. Um, it's the, it's the frame rate. Right? No, it was not a thing before, but one day it was just like, oh, oh nope, you can't run into the fans. I have to jump at them now. Says the man that's running the game. The Sean, yeah, I'm over them. The game Sean's referring to. Ugh. I just. Because it's it kind brings of, me physical pain to play it, that game. It's called because of an end joke. Because of how Sean fails, I call it the Japanese name Bumpity Trot. Yeah. What was the, the English name? Steambot, Steambot Chronicles, Chronicles is one of the yeah. is the worst game I have ever the, played. The if Japan the best friends play can do a full playthrough of Ride to Hell. We can do a full playthrough of no. Bumpity no, Trot. No, because that would mean have to suffer through Bumpity Trot. Um, Carson, here's. Kind of the key difference from the way he talks. Ride to Hell is a terrible game, but Ride to Hell is a terrible game in just kind of a functionally bad, where all the controls work sometimes a bit, like, too well where you can kick a guy halfway across the world, but... The <laughs> difference is that's the type of, that's the fun type of ad that you can make fun of. You just and I, out I, I found out Steam Art Chronicles is a hidden gem. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yes. It's hidden gem with the PS2 era. I don't know how. <laughs> the game is I, I I can't play. Hey, something I learned apparently. Most we'll get is a part. Is it something of you guys um, playing it. And something how incredible bad it is. I learned apparently. Shadow of Destiny is considered a hidden gem. Well, okay, but Shadow of Destiny is also one of those games that's just so bad it's good. Okay, no, no, people actually like it apparently. No, it, it, but it the... apparently got good okay. reviews. Shadow of Destiny, I will defend for a minute in that. It, the enjoyability, also that, that is a terrible low poly model, that, that's like laughably bad, Shadow of Destiny is just a functionally crazy and just so off the wall game that it's not a bad game. The reason... Johnny's LP and just and the reason I kind of shit on it in general is just how bad shit crazy oh, it is. That's why every that's why everyone <laughs> shits on it. But yeah. So <clears throat> this is a 
another aspect of the game where I won't admit the glitch is really hurt it because there's one part of this boss you can easily uh, clip through and because to make it challenging we have load of this. And because to make this challenging this thing has no checkpoints. There's only six hits though. But I as I said, because that one section is very easy to die on it. Uh, Watch the runaway guys and you'll understand Big Laser and also this a uh, fight. Trying to make it over here, Sonic. And also this fight's pace is glacial. Oh, that was it. Let's see if you don't get over. If you know what you're doing, it's less strenuous. And the reason I keep referring to the runaway guys, again, I'm not trying to shit on them, and they outright admitted that they were not the biggest Sonic Adventure fans or people who have played Sonic Adventure since childhood or at least so many times that they have it down pat. Ocarina of Time is a game I have played to death, and I am not sure when we should LP that, because the way I play Ocarina of Time is really, in my opinion, unique to a lot of people. So I've wanted to play Ocarina of Time, but I, because of how special of a game that is to me, I, I wanted a, at least a small community so I could share with them my stories about Green Enough Time and just how I play it. And 90% of that is going to be referring back to that sequel, I guess, which, as I said, is a bad video. Like, and it's oh, it's the hit off that attack is the part where you can easily clip through the balls. Ocarina of Time is a game I have played to death, mostly the 3DS version, but I'm not that bad at the original. And my um skill set works in the original rather rather well, for what it's worth. And I can play the original rather well. I was just... Now this section. He does a kamikaze thing, and mo a lot of... Some people just walk but he's slowly. But Russian, not Japanese. Instead of that rolling. That was terrible. Oh, oh I do crap. Don't do that again. Oh, yeah. I knew I was doing Carson. 255-45. <laughs> Funny. Oh! Th 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 that's a good time since we're not going to show off the missions where you have the C and B rank missions. This game has a lovely oversight when, when you do the missions, time's added to your counter. No, that's. Just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's. No. I've only ever seen that happen at, um, in, um,. Emerald Coast, but yes, if you f I finished Emerald Coast yeah, wow, that in about changes. like a minute and fifty seconds, and it jumped my time uh, up to actually, a minute and fifteen, two minutes and fifteen. Actually, I noticed it, but I didn't point it out when he also, played. Also, I love this theme. Um, that timer thing actually happened in this recording. Oh, I didn't pay attention. It it jumped from forty five to fifty five. So he just, beat the stage in I think about um at ten. It looks like Sonic singing here, which is yeah. unintentionally. He um uh, it, also Sonic just committed suicide. In that might be a thumbnail. In editing, it doesn't matter. In editing, try to zoom in on the timer and maybe have to uh, text the text that oh this is back when you use Enoch. I still work that Sonic name. June Sonor. June Sonor. I, I do love the themes in this game. Literally, the like that was half this game. The rest of the characters cover about that length of the game. No, Tails and Knuckles maybe. Uh, now maybe Tails and Knuckles cover a little bit more. Knuckles Tails and Tails combined Knuckles. is Equal roughly. Gamma, Amy are pretty fast, and Big has like no story to them. Big can literally be completed in about 10 minutes. 
There was a speed run for just big story. Huh? Big oh, is. I have to make that a um. Some post you, challenge. If you know what you're doing. Big goes by super quickly. And if Froggy wants to cooperate, Froggy actually has a lot of RNG. So how, how do we want to structure this? Do we want to move on straight to Big and then you guys go with your characters or do you guys do we want to go around the ring? Uh, People normally knock Big out last. Should we go around the... We can just go around the ring in order, which would be Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big, then Gamma. If we go around the... And then obviously I'll play Supersonic since he's Sonic. Um, if we go around the ring, that would let us constantly swap, which would be nice and kind of interesting. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I think that would be better. So then, because Tails is next, I would be the next one that plays. And Carter will have Knuckles and... I'll play Knuckles and Amy. Knuckles and Amy, so actually you'll go back to back. The back to back. Except Amy, it's like half a story anyway. Oh, that's actually a weird um a tangent. There is it's hard to find good rips of this on YouTube, but there was actually a Sonic Rush soundtrack that was released, and it was CD quality audio. So because of that, I can actually barely understand what they say in back to back. But I also don't know <laughs> what it is. The one guy's it. nickname Sushi. Mm hmm. Mm. So, I, I don't mind doing. Huh. They have been using Wave Master Studio. In a row. They have been using Wave Master Studios for years. Mm -hmm. I think that's the studio they're still using to. Um, actually, no. The modern recording studio is Studio Aquas. Um, that's apparently, Jen Sanoe was playing guitar and. Um, keyboard at the same time. <laughs> that is metal. I mean, he said on guitars, and he was the first name, and he was last name. It was like one of the last names on keyboards. You know they could record the keyboard. Yes, but it's funnier to assume <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I like to just think he's so talented he can play both at the same time. Realistically, he's playing the, key was he's playing the keyboard with his feet. Realistically, they would have recorded all the music and just edited it right. together. So, did that just say president and COO? Is that a thing? Yes. Okay, just making sure. I've only ever heard of a CEO. There's a. You've asked this in several credits over the years. I think. COO? What's a COO? Oh, there it is. Ku Sega Europe. <laughs> oh, so Sega Europe. Oh, so Sega Europe is a bunch of birds. Apparently, they have an old guy producer with senior producer. Chief Operations Officer. Oh. Uh, no, operating officer. Sorry. There you go. Cool. Hey, look. Yuji Nakamura. Mm hmm. Okay. So. There's your answer. So you guys are just like I didn't play with those little pink robots. Mm hmm. I have spent hours doing stuff like that. Yeah, you've talked about <laughs> that before. So. Copyright 2003. God damn. That might also be a thumbnail. I love those end screens. Those end screens might make a thumbnail. Those are cool. There, there'd be plenty of... You also get an emblem for watching credits. So Not I... beating the story, but watching the credits. Oh, crap. So, that's a thing now. Hmm. Okay, that's all the time I have. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, okay, guys. I'm just going to call it a recording session. See you all next time.